Good evening, everybody. Um, okay, so I wanted to do a quick review of this skim around uh, all in one unit. Um, I have to say, I've got very mixed feelings about this. Um, I've been dealing with it now for about a month, and uh, I feel like I finally got it kind of dialed in. You would think a simple device like this would be super easy to set up, but I still don't really trust it. See, what happens is you get this really nice Bernoulli effect going. Right now, it's this is the best I've ever set it up, and I ended up not really listening to their instructions because when you, they tell you to set it on the max setting and then you know not use the, the little super flow collar or whatever that is in there you know i've had to mess around with it quite a bit to get it to kind of work correctly and i feel like this is working really well right now but then it's not consistent so what happens if there's a lot of undulation in the water in the pool like if somebody's jumping in and out the Bernoulli effect obviously gets disrupted and then it doesn't really work that well. Like I, I kind of find that the pump actually doesn't pump as much water as it normally would with a regular basket then. Um, I don't know, that could just be my pool. Um, this isn't the most, uh, it's a pretty old pool and um, the pump is brand new. It's like a three and a half horsepower pump, definitely more than enough for this pool. It's about a 15,000 gallon pool, um, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but anyway, so what I'm finding here is uh, right now it seems to be working as as you would expect, but um, it, it, different conditions give it different types of uh, problems. And then what I ended up also doing, what got it to work better, was I ended up using the X, the largest collar, even if it barely fit in. It actually wasn't fitting into well, so I had to like really force it in. And then I had to push the sides of it. So what it really wants is is like a really tight seal around that area. And what happens is with the with the medium sized collar, even though it fits perfectly in that circle almost, even that tiny little bit is letting some water in, which prevents the Bernoulli effect from taking full effect, right? So if you put the the biggest collar in and like really force the edges in yourself uh you'll get a, a, some better results i felt i feel like and then i also don't want to set it at its max setting because of this max setting the collar just sits at the very top of the water and i think it works best when the when the top of this collar here is just below the water um and that all obviously that has to do with where your water line is and whatnot so you want to keep your water line really high um not really high i guess like where it should be so the one, that's one of the problems with this when the water line falls kind of low what happens is the Bernoulli effect happens even stronger and it actually hollows out the center of this thing and it shuts down the pump because the pump starts sucking air um so i noticed that my pump was shutting on and off on and off on and off like a few dozen times in a row i came out and i noticed that's what was happening and I had to put more water in the pool. Uh, whereas with my regular basket, I don't really have to worry about that. It's always got enough water for what it can suck down. So this can actually suck down more water uh, and create like a little vacuum here. Um, that's not what you want. So if you're gonna have this, I would say, um, uh, get my ugly toes out of the shot here. <laughs> if you wanna have this, I would say just be very careful that you've got plenty of water in your pool at all times because when it falls low, it could starve the pump. Um, and that's something I've seen over and over again. Um, anyway, would I use this? Pro I'm gonna use this product, okay? Uh, it is it is still better, I feel like, than my basket, uh, which is just like a regular basket. Um, but I'm still going back and forth, guys. I don't know, mixed mixed review here. I think if you've got a way to autofill your pool so that you always have a uh, good level of water in your pool, then maybe this is a good product. I don't have that. I have a manual, just a valve that I have to uh, open and close on my own. Um, and uh, it can be, um, it can be a bit uh, of a troublesome maintenance thing. Just making sure I always have the perfect amount of water in here because with without this basket, I don't really have that problem. I can I can go maybe about an inch or two below where the water line is supposed to be and still not starve the pump without this. But with this, I feel like I really need to have plenty of water in the pool in order for that not to happen. Um, anyway, so uh, make your own call on this, guys. I think um, it's definitely a cool product. It's a 
bit of a gimmick, but it does work. And um, uh, I may have confused you even more now. Typically, I try to give you information that can help you make your purchase decision. But honestly, I can't. I can't give you the go ahead to buy this, or I can't, and I can't recommend against it either. I feel like your mileage may vary. I don't know how good their customer service is. I don't know how good their return policy is because I haven't tried that and I'm not likely to return it. Um, it's it's nice to have an extra pull basket around um, even if uh, even if I just take the top off really and, and just use it as a regular basket. Um, it's pretty pricey for just a basket, but yeah. Anyway, um, again, I hope this helped you out a little bit in making your decision. I'd say if you have a manual way to fill your pool, you, you may want to think twice about it, but if your pool auto fills based on whatever the water level is or what it, whatnot, then this may be a perfectly good device to get. Um, all right, I'm gonna go take a dip and uh, uh, leave your comments, questions, any, any questions you have, I'm happy to answer them. And uh, don't forget to click that button, you know which one.